Good evening. Within hours of announcing the city's first homicide of 2024, Sioux Falls police have made an arrest. 38-year-old Edward Brinkley is charged with murder and is being held on a million dollars cash-only bond. Court documents say that he followed a man to his apartment early Sunday morning and shot him three times. Kel Lance Carly Phillips joins us with new details on the investigation and information on the victim from someone who saw him just hours before the crime. Court documents reveal new information on the investigation, including the victim's identity. 28-year-old Richard Sauer worked at a local sports bar. I spoke with a coworker who drove Sauer home from work early Sunday morning. He, he described Sauer as a caring person and a longtime friend who was always looking out for others. Now police are trying to figure out why he was killed. Investigators may never know exactly what happened in a second floor hallway in this downtown apartment building. But according to court documents, surveillance cameras outside nearby businesses show when the crime happened and who was involved. The victim in this case uh, has been identified as Richard Alexander Sowers. He's a 28-year-old Sioux Falls resident. The person that was arrested is also a Sioux Falls resident. It's uh, Edward Leon Brinkley and he's a 38-year-old who lives here in Sioux Falls. Court documents say early Sunday morning at 1.49, Richard Sowers can be seen leaving Tommy Jack's bar with two women. Video shows them walking up the exterior stairs to Sowers' apartment. Minutes later, Brinkley is seen leaving the bar and walking up the stairs. He is wearing a black baseball cap. Court documents say the women are seen leaving the apartment around 2.13. As they left, court documents say they noticed a taller guy with scruffy facial hair walking in the hall. Police later showed the women a photo lineup and they identified the man as Brinkley. At 2.18, surveillance video shows Brinkley leaving the apartment. He is no longer wearing a black baseball cap. Around that same time, someone in the apartment called 911 and reported, quote, somebody's fighting in the hallway. When police arrived, they found Sowers on the ground, moaning. Court documents say he had three wounds and appeared to have been shot once in his left armpit and twice in the back toward the base of his neck. Officers also found a black baseball cap near the victim's feet. We're still investigating to determine uh, what the nature of their relationship, if any, was. Well, Carly, I'm just curious, other than the baseball cap, was there any other evidence found at the scene? Yes, so Brinkley was actually wearing a green pair of St. Patrick's Day glasses, and those were also found inside of the apartment building. All right. Any motive? Did police talk about a motive yet? So right now, um, a few minutes before the shooting, court documents say that Brinkley was actually carrying a bicycle outside of the apartment building. When police went in, they found um, Sowers' ID and his wallet inside, but court documents don't say if anything was missing at this time. All right. Thank you, Carly. Thank you.